Nancy Leader on the Zeta Report. The South America roll is, per the Zetas, the second 7 of 10 scenario to take place, following fairly quickly after the sinking of the tongue of Indonesia. The plate structure where South America meets the Caribbean and the Nazca and Cocos plates is complex. Some assign the North Andes region, which houses most of Colombia, to the South American plate, while others consider this to be a separate plate. The Zetas say the North Andes region belongs to South America, though there is a fault line between them. Some claim that Panama has its own plate, but the Zetas state this is part of the Caribbean plate. The Caribbean is sinking. This has been the process over the eons, as in the past one could walk from Florida to Venezuela on land. This can be seen from the water depth, as the depth just above the South American plate is the deepest part of the Caribbean plate. The entire region, from the tip of South America to the islands on the north border of the Caribbean plate, will be jolted, and repeatedly during the roll. Along the Andes, these quakes will be in the range of a magnitude 8 to 9, but lesser elsewhere. Zeta talk. Where the 7 of 10 holographic vision was relayed to me, Nancy, in November 2009, South America did not announce its intention to become active until February 27, 2010, with a big quake in Chile. A tsunami warning went out through the Pacific, but nothing much developed other than waves against the coastline of Chile. For the Zetas, this was due to the nature of the plate adjustments, which involved subduction, a lateral movement, rather than rising or falling land underwater. This will be the case, too, during the South American roll. Tsunami in the Pacific will not be a big issue. These plate adjustments register on live seismographs worldwide as a shock due to the plate boundaries touching one another. The primary effect of the South American roll will be on the small islands in the Caribbean, which ride just north of the South American plate border, and these will lose elevation suddenly, and in some cases, sink entirely. Say to Tom. Then on May 13, 2010, one of the platform legs of the Aban Pearl rig unexpectedly filled with water near Trinidad and Tobago. The Aban Pearl sank. Note that Trinidad and Tobago are along the border of the Caribbean and South American plates, as is the island of Bonaire, the site of the next rig explosion. The explosion on Bonaire on September 8, 2010, devastated this tiny island, which values its tourist trade. Then a notice from NOAA on October 22, 2010, that the bleaching of the coral reefs in this region, where the Caribbean plate meets the South American plate above Venezuela, took a turn for the worse. The worst Caribbean coral reef die-off in history. Something is generating heat in this area, and it is most certainly the plate squeeze pressure. The damage to the Caribbean plate is not just to those areas which will be pushed under the gliding edge of the South American plate, but also to these areas which will be dragged along and ground up as the plate border is rubbed like sandpaper and abrasion. Zeta talk. Is the South America plate starting to roll? The pace has picked up, but the drama has shifted to Colombia and Ecuador. The city of Barranquilla is on the border between the Caribbean plate and the South American plate and experienced horrific landslides October 27, 2010. Though this city is on the Colombian coastline, it is right on the border of the Caribbean and South America plates. Then the pace really picked up. On November 6, 2010, the Colombian town of Molagavita in the Santander district began crumbling. This is on the North Andes fault line, where mountain building clearly has occurred in the past. Is crumbling the word for it? Crunched, crushed, folded. It appears to be more than a landslide. I guess this is the mountain building process. On the same day, November 6, 2010, the Colombian coastline adjusted again in the coastal town of Antioquia. Like Barranquilla, this town is right on the border of the Caribbean and South America plates on the waterfront. 
The tide rose suddenly and washed four beach houses out to sea, and the location is now a swamp. This is sinking land, a sinking Caribbean plate. Not a day later, on November 7, 2010, more mountain building occurred further down the North Andes fault line in the Ecuador town of Chimborazo. Can this be a coincidence? Clearly the rolling of the top of the South American plate, pushing the lower Caribbean plate down, is threatening. Until next time on the Zeta Report, this is Nancy Leader.